Hi, I'm Lawrence Rock. I am the assistant principal here at Brazosport High School. And we're here to talk to you about a very important matter that is uh, starting to gather a little steam at school. And that is uh, students bringing and selling and smoking uh, vape pens at school. Uh, here we have some various forms of vape pens from the more inexpensive ones to the most expensive ones. And all I wanted to tell you is the dangers of it because no matter which one it is, if it's a more expensive one or a cheaper one, you really don't know what you're smoking when you are ingesting one of these. There are forbidden at school. Uh, the trouble that you can get into for having a vape pen at school is in school suspension, uh, out of school suspension, and if it's done enough times, you'll be sent to the lighthouse. Hi, I'm Monster Cantu with the ISD Police Department. The law basically says anyone under the age of 21 cannot buy, possess, or consume any cigarettes, e-cigarettes, or tobacco products. Penalties are fines are up to $100 for any other fine or penalties a judge may deem necessary. The Health and Safety Code also indicates that anyone under the age of 21 is considered a minor. So just remember, no matter how good the pens smell or how uh, they make you feel when you're with your friends, even if you can get away with it uh, from me or from Officer Cantu here, ultimately you're hurting yourself in the long run. Look, vaping is not even good for your personal health. There is no benefits to it whatsoever. It'll hurt you. And in the long run, something even worse might happen than just being hurt. So, with that being said, don't be late and don't vape.